Well, hello everybody. This is Bill Breeden, and I'd like to go over the experience that I had observing the Great Conjunction of December 2020, a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the sky. Now, basically, what a conjunction is is when um, two or more planets are approach each other very closely in the sky. I'm not sure what the official definition is, so I'll just say within one degree. Um, it might be a little more complicated than that. But um, basically a conjunction will cap catch your eye when you look up into the night sky and see two or more bright planets uh, very close to each other. Um, the, a great conjunction is specifically a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. So I'm, I'm going to use Stellarium here to show you um, what I saw the two nights that I did observe it. And then I'll share with you some of my live video that I that I shot. So I've got Stellarium here set up for December the 20th, 2020 at 5.39 p.m. This was the night before the, uh, the peak of the conjunction, which was December the 21st. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here on Jupiter and Saturn. They're, they were low in the southwest for this particular conjunction. And here's the view through a finder. We'll go, go out to about here. And you can see Saturn is a little bit above Jupiter. And I'm going to go ahead and put an eyepiece in. Let's see. Let's go with the 19 millimeter panoptic. And you can see here's Saturn here and here's Jupiter here. On uh, December the 20th, the day before the peak of the conjunction, they were about 11 arc minutes apart in the sky. So they were, they were viewable in the same field of view in a medium to low power eyepiece. So this is an example of the view of them through a 19 millimeter panoptic on December the 20th. So you can see Jupiter here, and here's Jupiter's moons. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more manually here, show you something interesting about it. You can see you can see all four of Jupiter's moons, along with a background star here that just happens to be in the same line, almost exactly with Jupiter's moon. So it made for a really striking view, and I did capture that on video as well. And then you see Saturn here, just above Jupiter, separated by about 11 arc minutes of sky, with Titan out here to Saturn's right. Now, when I captured my video, I'm using a schmidt cassegrain so my view is inverted. So you'll see Titan will be over here to the left in my video. So let's go ahead and look at the following day, the peak of the conjunction, which was December the 21st. So I'll go forward one day. And we'll go back to an eyepiece view. And now you can see on December the 21st at 5.42 p.m., you can see how close Jupiter and Saturn are to each other. Uh, for the peak of the conjunction, they were separated by about six arc minutes of sky, which is about a fifth of the diameter of the full moon. Pretty striking. I'm going to zoom in manually. And here's that background star here. You can see the planets have drifted a little bit since the day before. So I just wanted to show you a simulation and now I will share the video and some of the pictures I took. This is December 20th, 2020.
5.21 p.m. The great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Tomorrow night they will be six arc minutes apart. So I calculate that tonight they're about 11 arc minutes apart. Which is about a third of the width of the full moon in the sky. So you can see Jupiter there at the bottom with uh, the four Galilean moons plus a, a background star up near the upper right. And then the upper planet there is Saturn. And just to Saturn's left, you can see a little star. I do believe that is Titan. So we see Jupiter with its moons Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And then Saturn with its moon Titan. It's not quite dark yet. And from my backyard here, Jupiter and Saturn appear in the southwest, um, just above a tree. It looks like, let me see, they're about two degrees above the top of a tree, but they're heading off to the, uh, down and off to the right a little, so I think they'll, they'll miss the tree. I think they'll just kind of glide over to the right of it. So we should be able to, uh, to see this for quite a while. So I'm going to go get my wife and see what she thinks. Okay, hi everybody. I've got my Re my Rita here, my wife. Hi. And Rita, this one at the top, that's Saturn. Mm -hmm. And there's Titan. Mm -hmm. And here's Jupiter. Mm -hmm. And you see all of Jupiter's moons there? Mm -hmm. Look how close together Saturn and Jupiter are. Very, very if you look together. above that tree, I see it. you see that bright star? Sure, yeah. That's Jupiter. Yes. I don't know if you can see Saturn yet by, by the naked eye. This is a Sunday night. You can see Saturn and Jupiter. Yeah. I'm using the uh, the NexYZ cell phone holder that I bought from um, this Looking Up Optics. So I'm going to remove the device from the eyepiece. And we will see you later, folks. a little bit later now just a little bit it's 5 38 p.m. December 20th 2020 and Jupiter and Saturn are experiencing a great conjunction which um, peaks tomorrow night it's supposed to be kind of windy tomorrow night so I thought I'd give this a try tonight right now they're going behind a few a few tree limbs high up Hopefully they'll clear the tree limbs any second now and clear up a little bit. They look really good in the finder. Let's see, let's move this a little bit. You barely touch it and it just shakes. You know, that just moves Saturn out of the edge of the field. I don't want to do that. has a hard time focusing such faint objects but you can see here Saturn's at the top and Jupiter's the brighter one down at the bottom so you can see how close together they are they're about 11 arc minutes apart in the sky now you would think it'd be easier if I can just move it a little bit maybe that'll make a difference Let's see. Well, that made Saturn disappear. Go up this way, Jupiter disappears. And if we go this way a little bit, that doesn't do anything. But if we go up or down, go up a little bit. Well, now the light cone is too far away. So let's go down. See if we can keep them in view. I love this NexYZ device that clamps your cell phone to an eyepiece. You don't have to modify your scope at all for this. You just literally clamp it onto the eyepiece. And it has 
it has three adjustments which is where it gets its name and XYZ because you have your your x-axis I guess is your back and forth your y-axis is up and down and then your z-axis is in and out um, that means close to or away from the eyepiece there's a fourth adjustment and that's for tightening it against the eyepiece it actually has a rubber grip that grips the outer the outer edge of your eyepiece so it doesn't hurt anything it doesn't put too much pressure on your eyepiece or your star diagonal. It's really, really kind of well thought out. It was about fifty dollars worth it. If anything, at least I'll have a a memento of this great conjunction. So I'm going to stop it now. But thank you for joining me. Good evening, this is Bill Breeden. This is Monday, December 21st, 2020. I'm set up in my backyard to take a look at the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. It's about 5, 12 p.m. And it's just twilight now. I've got my LX90 set up. And it just so happens that I do have a, a view. Saturn and Jupiter will be about right there, just above that tree. I got lucky as far as the view from back here because as you can see we have the garage there my neighbor's garage several houses this big elm tree which I'm having removed soon hopefully if everything goes okay but if you look through the finder you can see I'm already pointed at Jupiter and Saturn and through the eyepiece This is a 24 millimeter panoptic eyepiece. And you can see Jupiter there with some of his moons. And Saturn right next to it. They're separated by about six arc minutes of sky tonight, which is their closest approach. I took some pictures and video last night too when they were 11 arc minutes apart. So we got lucky and have another clear night tonight, so I'm going for it. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up my uh, cell phone holder and see if I can get some good snapshots. Okay, I'm using the NexYZ cell phone holder that clamps onto the eyepiece now to record the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. It is 5.17 p.m on December 21st, 2020. And I'm clamping it to a 24 millimeter panoptic eyepiece. I could probably put more power on it. It'd be more impressive. But I thought I'd start with low power. It's not quite dark yet, it's still twilight. So I'm gonna run inside and get Rita and let her take a look. Rita's coming. She's putting her coat on. I got the telescope set up right, right out the back door. I got lucky with the viewing geometry. We can actually see it from back here. So this cell phone clamp uh, works pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it was worth the $50 I paid for it. Come on out, Rita. Come on out. All you have to do is look at it. You don't have to look in it. It's right there. Look at the picture there. Thank you. See? That's Saturn and that's Jupiter. So let me take this off and have you look at it through the eyepiece. Okay, okay folks, we'll rejoin you. Okay, I just clamped the uh, the cell phone clamp onto a 19 millimeter eyepiece. And wow, look how clear that is, Rita. See, there's Saturn and there's Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Let me make a slight adjustment here. Mm -hmm. 
the wind is being f nice and forgiving tonight. Jeez. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Let me move this up a little bit toward the center. Mm -hmm. There we go. There you go. There's Saturn and there's Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Saturn's nice. over on the left, Jupiter's on the right, and you can see at least three of Jupiter's moons. Yes. Last night you could see all four of them uh, in addition to a background star. That's neat. They are six arc minutes apart right now, mm. or one fifth of the moon's diameter. Isn't that That's awesome? So That's good well, stuff I'm going to take a couple of pictures. Oh. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. Okay. There we go, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop. Okay. I have attached the cell phone clamp to a 13 millimeter Nagler eyepiece, mm -hmm. and it has a, I guess it, it must have a somewhat smaller exit pupil. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit harder to find the, the light cone, but I got it here. Mm -hmm. See Jupiter on the right with three of, three of its moons, mm -hmm. and Saturn over on the left there. I can't see Titan. I don't see Titan through here, and I, I couldn't see it naked, or I'm sorry, through the eyepiece mm -hmm. just with my eyes either. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Very nice. But this, uh, nice little thing is going this clamp has an adjustment for left and right there, you can see, and it has one for up and down. Barely mm -hmm. move it and you lose the light cone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it has another one for in and out to raise and lower. There. Oh, that helps. I should have done that in the first place. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was able to get it a little bit closer into the light cone. Mm -hmm. So there you go, folks. Jupiter and Saturn during the Great Conjunction of December the 21st, 2020. It is 5.28 p.m. Mm -hmm. Take a few snapshots while I'm at it. Can't really... I can't really, I can't really adjust the exposure on this the way I would like. Mm -hmm. So Saturn and Jupiter are actually a little overexposed, but I can live with it just to capture the moment. Mm -hmm. So let's disconnect this and go ahead and use the eyepiece without it. So thanks for joining us, mm -hmm. and it's been a surprisingly good night for this. Mm -hmm. Say bye, Rita. Bye. So we're set up in the backyard now for the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. And I've got the webinar coming from Jefferson College Observatory on my laptop going. And I've already got some really good pictures. Let me see if you can see the conjunction through my finder here. So there you go, there's the view through the finder. And I've got a 13 millimeter Nagler eyepiece in the telescope right now. Let's see if you can see them through that. There we go. I'm just holding it now. I was using my cell phone clamp earlier. There you go, Jupiter and Saturn, only six arc minutes apart in a 13 millimeter eyepiece. Here's what sky we have right now. now. You might be able to see them up there over that tree with this cell phone camera. You're not going to see them very clearly. you can if you zoom in it's pretty impressive actually I didn't expect that so anyway this is Bill Breeden December 21st 2020